What's up, y'all? Logan Parker, Airland Builders. Welcome back. We're at the wedding barn today, and we got a lot of stuff to do. Today is the moment that I've been waiting for. We've got just about the entire main part of this wedding barn structure framed up with the rafters, ready for TNG um, roof decking. And now we've got the porch bearing wall, the first bent that we're gonna erect right here. And it's ready to get this. This is critical because this is what the trusses are gonna bear their weight on. They're gonna hang below the windows on this main building and then sit out on this bearing wall and it's gonna be a 24 foot clear opening. It's gonna be pretty rad. Check it out. so small compared to all the rest of them that it was a little difficult to manage it at first but um, it sits right down and we're gonna brace it off and keep on walking down the line we're gonna build another vent just like this um, basically two posts and a beam and the braces we build it on saw horses just like you see it right now so that we can make sure that everything is square we make sure that the two legs to posts are totally squared to one another before we set the beam and bolt it in and then we put the knee braces in to secure it. We raise it up and set it right down and it goes all the way even and flush on the bottom. If we didn't square it up there's a good chance by the time we brace it all off and put it together one leg would be higher than the other or it wouldn't sit flat. So it's really important that we build these things on sawhorses and then erect them. It makes it a whole lot easier to get things right. So we just set it down, brace it off, and keep moving. 